complain about this Spanish weather, because you... Oh, it is warm, though, isn't it? Oh, my God, you do look ridiculous with them silly things on your eyes. Why don't you wear your sunglasses? Oh, well, cos I don't want them great big white circles round my eyes. I mean, sitting out in this sun every day, I'm covered in white bits, look. <laughs> yeah, of course you are, so am I, look. <laughs> don't matter, does it? I'm a woman. I mean, I've got more white spots than a man. Yeah, don't worry, I don't suppose anyone but you will ever see them. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to be so rude. If I hadn't had to look after you when Mum died, I might have been married by now. The right man, he still might come along. Yeah. Well, if he comes along at night, at least your best bits are sharp in the dark. Buenos dias. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come in? You are in. Ah, senorita, your English paper? Gracias. Don't get messing about with her. You're enjoying the lovely Spanish sun, senorita? Oh, no, no, it's much too hot for me, Carlos. But it is good for you, senorita. Mm -hmm. They say it gives the British women warmth and passion. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, all it gives her is freckles and white bits. <laughs> but the senorita has only been here eight weeks, but already she looks ten years younger. Hey? Eh? Carlos, you're just being nice. I know when I look in my mirror, I look at least 31. <laughs> <laughs> you want to stop looking in your mirror and start looking in your calendar? Here, I found this week's horoscopes. Oh, load of silly rubbish. No, no, it isn't. Listen. Piskies. Oh. <laughs> That's my sign. Being a Piskian, you are a very warm person. Oh, marvellous. They must know you're out in Spain. What is Piskies? Oh, well, that's the sign of the stars that you was born under. Ah, see, see. They can foretell your future. Yeah. When was you born, Carlos? Mid of five. May... Oh, Taurus. He's a bull. Ah. Yeah. And you know what happens to bulls in Spain, don't you? <laughs> they come to a sticky end. Listen, Carlos, he is yours. You are going to receive money from someone close to you. Yeah. Do you think that'll be true? Yeah. See, si, see, si, senorita. The stars, they never lie. Twenty pesetas for the paper, senor. <laughs> yeah. Adios. Gracias. Yeah, seeing as our old paper, I'll have it, you know. Oh, no, let me keep the star bits, still. Yeah, take it, then. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see what else it says. Oh, God, look at this. Hmm? Barcelona 10, Arsenal 0. <laughs> Tomorrow you will have a disturbing experience with a dark stranger. Well, I wonder who it'll be. What are you talking about? Tomorrow? This paper's five days old. Tomorrow was last Monday. So it's happened already. Here, who was it? Where was I? What did he do? I don't know, do I? Last Monday, uh, you went out shopping on your own. I know, in that terrible heat. Yeah. And I fainted at the bus stop. <gasps> Cyril, and when I come round, there was a dark Spanish man leaning over me. <laughs> Whatever did he do? It's going to be marvellous, isn't it? Eh? The first time in your life anything happens to you and you missed it. <laughs> on time and then I'd have been full warmed. Yeah, and still nothing would have happened, would it? <laughs> you still missed it. You can't win either way, can you? Yeah, listen, it says, later in the week, oh, that is now, you will get an intriguing proposal from a member of the opposite sex. <gasps> oh, who would that be? A man, I imagine. <laughs> I wonder when it'll happen. Yeah, look, I can't sit here that until you. I've got to get to the bank, can I? Well, what about lunch? I'll tell you what, if you come with me, I'll treat you to lunch first. Oh, yes, yes, I don't want to be on my own in case a stranger makes a proposal. <gasps> a dark stranger will make you an intriguing proposal. <laughs> I wonder who it'll be. What do you ask? It'll probably be the waiter at the cafe asking if you like the stay stuffed mirror. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, don't hang Hello. Ah, how's that? Cyril, I'll never get used to this Spanish food. It's so different from English food. What are you talking about? Poached eggs on toast with eight piece sauce. How can it be different? <laughs> well, it's, it's poached in Spanish water. Makes it smell funny. <laughs> what are you talking about? You bath in Spanish water every night. You don't smell funny, do you? It's all the same water, isn't it? Yes, and that may be truer than you think. I mean, what with their plumbing, perhaps for all we know, this egg, what was poached in this water, comes straight out of my bath. <laughs> No, you have put me off it now. I don't fancy eating your second-hand bar of sorts. Oh, Cyril, I'm telling you, this egg, it smells horrible. It's not the egg that smells, mm. it's the waiter. <laughs> <laughs> have a drink, Jose. Gracias, senor. Uh, tell me, uh, that English couple who keep coming in every day, who are they? I've no idea, man. By the look of him, I should say he was a retired undertaker. <laughs> I should think she might be a retired schoolmistress. Hardly your cup of tea. Cyril, 
There's a man staring at me. Oh, he must be cross-eyed. <laughs> hang, hang on. Don't look. See, he's been giving me funny looks ever since we come in here. Hang on, that. There's some funny types abroad, you know. What do you mean? He might be looking at me. <laughs> Uh, I think he wants to know what we want for seconds. Oh, well, I, I do fancy a pudding. Yeah. Ask him if they got any spotted dick. <laughs> I think I'd better look up the phrase. Um, poor favour, spotted dick. No comprendo. Dígame simplemente lo que quiere del menú. Oh, I found dick. Oh. What's he say? Look under Richard. The English couple are having difficulty with their Spanish. I will go and see if I can help. Oh, I shouldn't bother, old boy. No, 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 no. It's no trouble. Richard III. <laughs> Pardon me, uh, Can I be of help? Uh, I speak a little English. No, that's all right, thank you. No, see, see. For our house, we wanted to order a dessert. Oh, uh, I recommend the gato. Would you like that? No, we wouldn't. Oh, I... yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm sure it's delicious if you say so. Shall I order two portions? Uh, no, no, thank you. No, uh, we've got to get to the bank before they close. Just a portion for your wife. Oh, eh? no, no, no. I'm not his wife. I'm his sister, Dorothy. I'm not married, am I, Cyril? Not that I've ever noticed, no. <laughs> Hadn't you uh, better be going? Going where? The bank. Uh, yes, sir. I'll be back in 15 minutes. In that case... I will sit and keep the senorita company. Oh, uh, well, gracias. I'll be back in ten minutes. Let me introduce myself. I am Jose Martinez. Oh, uh, I'm delighted, I'm sure. And I'm Dorothy Blake. Miss. I will just get my drink. So, so, here, here. My horoscope, it's coming true. Eh? What shall I say? What shall I do? There's only one thing you've got to do. What? You make sure he gets a ring on that finger before he sees your white bitch. <laughs> and then, well, uh, you see, I, I was a cashier at the co-op for 30 years. 30 years? Uh, well, I started very young. <laughs> Perhaps not 30 years, more like 22. You must have liked it there. Oh, yes, yes, I did. And then one day the manager came along and said that we all had to be converted. Converted well, into Catholic. Oh, no, 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 converted to self-service. Oh, it was awful, all wire baskets and electric cash registers, and I just didn't have no time to do my knitting. And you came to live in Spain? Yes. Did you like Spain well? Well, I didn't know it, but my brother did. He came over on a weekend package deal, you know, to Torre Molina. Oh, and you're beginning to learn Spanish? Oh, yes, yes, I, I can order a meal. <clears throat> I have Ern Hufo Escalvado on a slice of pan tostado. Oh, post on toast. Yes. Uh, what other dishes have you learned to order? None. I always have poached egg. Well, you feel safe with that in foreign parts. But there are many delicious Spanish dishes. Oh. At night in this restaurant, they serve beautiful food. Oh. Uh, would you care to join me here for dinner tonight? Oh, yes. I think my brother, he'd like that very much. No, no, no. Not with your brother. Hmm? Just you and me alone together. Just me? <laughs> with you? Do you really mean it? I would be honoured. Oh, yes, please. Good. I will call for you at your apartment at 8 o'clock. Yes. Ah, here comes your brother. Do not forget, tonight at 8 o'clock. Oh, I won't forget. I look forward to this evening. Hasta la vista. Same for you. Now, what's all this going on, eh? What was this licking your fingers? You got any bottom of he was kissing my hand. Hey? He's going to take me out for dinner tonight. Hey? Yeah, you want to watch it, you know. You know what these Spaniards think of English girls, don't you? No, Cyril, it's not like that. I'm not one of them young, flighty holiday girls. I oh, know, but it's a close season. It is not much apart, is it? <laughs> you better tell me all he said. No, Cyril, we haven't got time. We've got to hurry. Hurry oh, what? Well, look, I've got to go and buy a dress, get myself ready, make myself look attractive. And I've only got seven hours. Seven hours? You're going to need every minute. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, look at that. I just can't see what that man can see in you. No, well, you wouldn't, would you? You've always stood in my way, always run me down. And now I've met a man who wants me for myself alone. Carlos, your wife, she will want to make this dress fit, won't she? It's ever so important. Oh, see, see, senorita. My wife is very good at showing. She will make it fit. Yeah, fit an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he smiles too loose. Whatever induced you to go out and buy a dress that didn't fit you? Because it's all I could get in the length. It's made for Spanish women and they're not built like me. Yeah, come to think of it, not many English women are built like you, are they? <laughs> La señorita está completamente lisa. La señorita no tendrá más remedio con ponerse algo en el sostén para real mal. I think she's saying you can't make mountains out of molly. La señorita tendrá que lo evitar. Sí, sí, mucho mejor, sí. It's marvelous, isn't it? You've got too much down below and not enough upstairs. <laughs> Pity you're not a bus, isn't it? <laughs> when I was on the buses, if we had too many downstairs, we could move a little bit up top. <laughs> Look, oh, Cyril, I can't breathe. <laughs> well, sit down, then. I can't sit down. Just me up. How can I go out with a man if all I can do is stand up or lie down? <laughs> well, knowing these Spaniards, that arrangement would just suit him. <laughs> He'd be able to cut out the dinner. Oh, Cyril, this made me come over all faint. Hey, oh, Maria, Ma 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 take her in the bedroom, will you? Try and do something about that dress, will you? Si, senor. Ah, good evening, senor Smith. Ah, the same. Ha, you old rascal, what were you up to with that English woman? I have invited her to dinner. To dinner? Hardly your type, old boy. No, no, no. Let me explain. I am looking for, uh, how you say, uh, a nanny for my six children. <laughs> then I can get married again. This lady, she might be right. She lives here, she could teach the children English, and she might need more money. I see, but why ask her to dinner? I must make sure she's of good character. Not interested in men. I do not want a sex mad nanny. <laughs> You've got the right one there. Here, yeah. you're sure your wife can do something about that dressing type of the night, are you? Oh, si, si, senor. Maria is always taking in her own dresses. <laughs> you mean she's always buying dresses too big or no? No, no, senor. Having six children, it is she who keeps getting too big. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean, yeah. When I see Maria letting out her dress, then I know she is in the band club. <laughs> Carlos, no, you've got your English mixed up. No, we say uh, she's in the pudding club. <laughs> or, uh, she's got a bun in the oven. Senor, bun or puddings, they both make a very fit, eh? <laughs> Better be him now, you old chick, will you? Hola. Hola. Buenas noches. I have called for your sister. Yeah, well, she won't be a minute. I suppose you make yourself a home, have you? Get the man? Yeah. Senor, he's the local Casanova. He's a seductive of women. Huh? Si, si. Oh, don't talk, dog. Senor, I see him in the cafe every day. Every day he has a beautiful woman on the arm. He's a very sexy man. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, better, I better put him off. A man like that up against Dorothy. Be like having Richard Burton up against Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> don't go away. Don't uh, uh, I say, old chap. Sit down. Yeah. There's something I think you ought to know about my sister. She's a very good woman. Good, good. You savvy? Good? Yes. Yeah. That is just what I thought. Eh? You know she's got very little money of her own, don't you? No. Oh, yes, she told me. Eh? You know she's a bit funny, don't you? Funny? Yeah, funny, you know. She, uh, she uh, is not interested at all in... Uh, Six. No? Oh, I am very pleased to hear that. Huh? I'm not kidding, you know. The only thing she ever takes to bed is hot water bottle. <laughs> she don't like that all that hot either. Yes, just what I imagine. La señorita está lista. Uh, you look very elegant, señorita. Muchas gracias, I'm sure. I will call the lift. <laughs> Show. Uh, uh, no, no, it's lovely. <laughs> Have a nice dinner. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> 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 That'll put anyone all that would make. 
<laughs> All them pins, you only need a couple of mouse traps on the bottom and she'll be quite safe. <laughs> and yet I would not trust him with my grandmother. No, perhaps you're right, mate. Here. You think we ought to go down the cafe and make sure nothing happens to her? Sissy, my wife's cousin is the chef. We can go in through right. the kitchen. Yeah, no, seriously, you don't think he's after Dorothy, do you? No, no, senor. But he could be the white slaver, eh? Huh? Hey? So maybe tonight there is a boat leaving for Tangiers. Tangiers? Well, there can't be much of a market in Tangiers for Dorothy, could they? Senor, with the way inflation is, maybe she is all they can afford. <laughs> A little more of our Spanish wine. Oh, well, thank you. It's ever so nice. <laughs> Your brother said uh, you didn't like wine. Oh, he's an awful liar. I'm quite used to having wine with my meals. <laughs> what are you talking about? She only has it once a year at the co-op Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> she got pie on half a glass of wind carnies. <laughs> I do hope my brother hasn't been telling tales to you about me. He's he's quite a monster, really. Do you know what they used to call him at the buses when he was an inspector? <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> oh yes, I can see the resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you wouldn't mind uh, leaving your brother? Oh no, I wouldn't mind at all. <laughs> Any minute now, she will be on that boat to change to you. <laughs> and uh, would you like uh, to have children to look after? Oh, I think that's rather late in life. Do you think you could manage uh, six? <laughs> six? Do you think I could? Oh, yeah, easily. <laughs> Senor, I think he's going to give her one of those futility drugs. <laughs> in her case, it would be futile. <laughs> Ah, this is a special Spanish delicacy. I am sure you will enjoy this. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm keen to get to like Spanish food. <laughs> what are they? Spanish snails. Snails? <laughs> you do not like them. Oh, yes, yes, I'm very partial to snails. Who the fibber? Last year at Bogner, she passed out at the sight of a winkle. <laughs> this is one of my favourite dishes, if you like. I will get my mother to tell you how to cook them. Oh, yes, yes, I'd like that. You gather them up in the garden, and you have to cook them while they're still alive. Alive? Yes. And then you make this special sauce. Taste this. Mm. It is exquisite. It is made from red wine, goose fat, chopped baby octopus and garlic. Oh, I'm so sorry. You have spilled your wine on your dress. I will wipe it dry. No, no, don't touch me. I'll do it. That was a new thing. Nearly got in for the cotton wool. I want to get the key cloth. Oh, yeah. That's one way of warming the wine. <laughs> he could have a job if he wants to blow his nose. Let's just get the stain out. Thank you ever so much. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance. You must think I'm awfully stupid. No, not at all. Now that I have had a chance to get to know you, I think you're just the woman I'm looking for. Do you? Yes. First, let me explain my position. My wife died a few years ago, and I have six children to look after. Oh, dear. And I think it's time I got married again. Well, yes, yes, of course. And now I think I have found a woman that would make me a good wife. Oh, yes. So I wonder if you would consider accepting... Oh, yes, yes, I would! Consider accepting the post of nanny while I go on my honeymoon round the world. <laughs> nanny? I, I couldn't possibly be a nanny. I am sorry. You do not have to agree. Why are you so upset? I don't feel very well. I have to go home. Then why are you crying? Here, let me dry your tear. Where's my handkerchief? I haven't got it! He's having his wife. Oh, thank you! Oh, God, I've nearly cut off my fingers! Don't worry, Carlos. He won't be wasted in this cafe. They'll probably serve him up with the snails. <laughs> Stop that blooming row, William, of course. 
<laughs> well, you would upset yourself like that for... Uh, I told you, he's not that sort of man for you. He was a man. No. And perhaps I should have taken that job just, just to be near him. Well, looking after six kids, you're rather have been fighting, dirty, untidy, lazy, demanding. Where's the sauce? <laughs> Yeah, it's been a life of slavery for you. What sort of life is that? No worse than looking after you! Spanish weather, can you? Oh, it is warm, though, isn't it? Oh, my God, you do look ridiculous with them silly things on your eyes. I mean, why don't you wear your sunglasses? Oh, well, cos I don't want them great big white circles round my eyes. I mean, sitting out in this sun every day, I'm covered in white bits, look. Yeah, of course you are, so am I, look. <laughs> don't matter, does it? But I'm a woman. I mean, I've got more white spots than a man. Yeah, don't worry, I don't suppose anyone but you will ever see them. <laughs> There's no need to be so rude. If I hadn't had to look after you when Mum died, I might have been married by now. The right man, he still might come along. Yeah. Well, if he comes along at night, at least your best bits are sharp in the dark. Buenos <laughs> dias. <laughs> Can I come in? You are in. Ah, señorita, your English paper? Gracias. Ah, de nada, señorita. Stop that messing about with her. You're enjoying the lovely Spanish sun, señorita? Oh, no, no, it's much too hot for me, Carlos. But it is good for you, señorita. Mm -hmm. They say it gives the British women warmth and passion. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, all it gives her is freckles and white bits. <laughs> but the senorita has only been here eight weeks, but already she looks ten years younger. Okay. Carlos, you're just being nice. I know when I look in my mirror, 